guys, welcome back to the outfit. I'm Ange. I'm Chris. In the middle, we've got our little man, Oakley, a few months old, and we're currently on Fraser Island, currently on the west coast. If you haven't watched last week's episode, I highly recommend you check it out to see how we came here. But this is wild. This the crossing. Wildest, guys. <laughs> we basically just crossed the ocean to get onto this side. And now we're just touring up this beach and man, there is no one here. It's so cool. The only people are in boats. There's a little yacht out there. So cool. The water is absolute glass off, whereas in comparison to the popular east coast, it's always heaps of breaking waves. And this is just, it feels like, it almost feels like WA, doesn't it? It is, like a long stretch of the beach that we, you could just drive on and cruise. The mug is doing so well. Amazing. And yeah, we are looking forward to see what's ahead of us. We've got a few nights of camping. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take you along and show you the beautiful west coast of Red Island. Let's do it. This is a nature car wash. Chris just like tried the water and he was like, that's pure fresh water. Oh my God. So basically the previous crossing we did was mostly fresh water, but there was still the ocean coming through. So there was a tiny bit of salt water. We do have an external pump where we could wash the truck underneath, which we're gonna do at camp. But Chris was thinking we, can, we may as well like use the creek and use the water to wash a little bit the wheel so there's no salt. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's nice and early. The tide now is going up. This morning we went at low tide, which was at 7.50 a.m. So we had timed that very well. The, cr the crossing, Chris was saying, was very hard bottom, very shallow. So that was very safe for us to cross. So basically that was Moon Point. And now we're getting to Worley Creek camping area. And we basically did a massive shortcut because otherwise we would have had to do like inland track which was 28 kilometers. This was so much faster and so much cooler to do that through the beach. So yeah, we're gonna try and find Cape now and that's gonna be a beautiful day I think. It looks stunning already. So I'm just shooting the uh, portals down with fresh water because I've got this outdoor, I think we've got 40 litre, 40 litre tank and uh, sort of a high pressure hose. So I just want to get as much salt water off the portals as I can because I do not like driving in salt water, but it was worth the, uh, it was worth it, I think, for <laughs> getting here. So just shoot it down and then breakfast time. Yay. All right, we'll arrive at camp. Chris has washed the wheels. Little man has been fed. So now it's time for our breakfast. This morning, I usually actually am the one who cooks breakfast. Chris makes our drink every morning. Usually we have banana pancakes, which you would have seen many times on the channel before. But this morning I wanted to be a bit more creative for this trip. So I bought some ingredients to make the Ange bean shakshuka. So I'll show you what we've got and I'll show you the finished result. I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. So we've got some eggs, we've got some whole grain bread, we've got some beans. So I chose these beans. If you've never tried this brand before, they do as well a mean barbecue sauce. So good, highly recommended. We've got some diced tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, some coriander, maybe a little bit of tomato paste and an avocado. So let's get going. <laughs>
pretty amazing spot that we're taking our son for his first proper camping or frauding trip in Australia. Not too Couldn't shabby, be buddy. Than Fraser. <laughs> love it. Not too shabby at all. I'd love to know for any parents watching, any families, where was the first place that you took your children to and how was it? Was it a success? Did you have any struggle? Was it how was it? I'd love to know. Yeah, so far we haven't had any struggle with him which has been awesome. So uh your yeah fingers he, he's crossed. Been, yeah, true. Don't want to speak too soon, but he's been really, really good. Yeah, I think a lot of people were warning us that it was going to be quite difficult, but I think because he's so young and mm. I'm hoping because we're starting from such a young age that he's going to be used to it and yeah. it's going to be normal for him, like being in this kind of environment. So, so. normally if we don't drive, like say we just stay uh, in one place, he just will not sleep during the day and then by the end of the day he's super cranky and upset. Yeah, it's no so good the fact matter. that we're driving around and doing off-roading and stuff, he'll sleep in the cab. <laughs> and then when he's awake, he's in just such a better mood. So, so far, it's actually working, it's actually in our working favor, very well. Which yeah. is great. <laughs> so, breakfast is almost ready. Are you ready for it? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry too. I'm so hungry. The only man not hungry is this guy. Yeah. And this is the finished result. Looks amazing. Thank you so much. High in protein with the beans and the eggs. Good fats as well with the avocado and the egg yolk and a little bit of carbs as well with the whole grain bread so a very complete and healthy breakfast feeling delicious Bon appétit! So the man was getting restless so I took him for a little walk to let Chris train without a crying baby. <laughs> that was good, that worked out well. It was a 30 minute walk, a bit more shade as well, went like towards the inland track. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Look at that. Look at that view, amazing. The wind I picked up a little bit, so I'm just gonna make lunch inside. But we had such a good morning with Chris. We both had the training session. We both went for a swim. The weather is a bit cold, but outside is actually so warm that it was so easy to jump in. I think it's around like 25 degrees and it's almost winter. So that's crazy. I just love Australian winter. We we're both talking about it with Chris that in New Zealand, I think right now it's around like 2 degrees, so in that respect we're so so happy to be back here in Australia, back in Queensland. Now it's time to make lunch, I'm just gonna bull prep the lunch for the week, so usually with Chris I make a big burrito mix that I can change the recipe up, sometimes I can use like chicken, I can use it in a wrap, I can put a salad, so it's very versatile. So we have some Mexican uh, rice, some black beans and some Mexican beans. This time I'm using turkey beans. And yeah, that's a good one. High in protein, like quite filling, still nutritious. I think Chris as well really like it. That fills him up, which is sometimes not an easy task. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'll prepare the lunch and sit outside with my boys. Plonked him in the river. Oh. <laughs> That's what dads do, they do like crazy thing like that. Alright, so just while Ange is making lunch, thought I'd show you a map of Fraser Island in case you aren't really familiar with the island. Now it is the largest sand island in the world, super super popular holiday destination and it lies on the east coast of Queensland just above Brisbane. So I'll show you where we started. We started at Inskip Point which is the mainland of Australia. We got the ferry across to Hook Point. And then because it wasn't high tide, we were able to scoot along the beach all the way up about 50 kilometers up to here. Now we did want to do that yellow track that we showed you last uh, episode, but it was way too scratchy and narrow. It didn't look very exciting anyway. So we carried on up, started up on this blue track here, which is called the Great Northern Forest uh, Scenic Drive from memory. We headed up here along to this black road here 
and then cut all the way up to what's called Moon Point. Now, they don't for some reason show you anymore on the map this track. It's called Moon Point Road, and it was really well defined, wasn't hard forward driving at all. So highly recommend you do that. Get to Moon Point. We camped at the Moon Point campground, which was very basic. And then this morning we crossed Kungul Creek, and we headed all the way up to Warrily Creek where we are camping tonight. And then tomorrow we're hoping we can check out Borati Creek and Awinya Creek. If we can't get along the coast, we may cut in and go across and back up again. So yeah, west coast of Fraser Island, highly recommend checking it out. Some parts of it you can't drive, so do bear in mind that there is only a certain section. But the section you can drive is absolutely stunning. And I think for sure trumps the eastern coast, which is the really busy part with all the big trucks driving past, the tour groups, the rental cars, and they can go like 80k an hour. Whereas this side's much more kind of like WA, more pristine, beautiful ocean, less people, feels much more remote, which is, yeah, it's just phenomenal. So highly recommend West Coast to Fraser. Check it out. Not hard to get here at all. All right, what's for dinner tonight? Oh, a nice easy meal tonight, just doing hamburgers. So just doing two each. So just beef patties, hamburger rolls, a rocket mixed with some spinach, some tomatoes, and some chipotle barbecue sauce, which is spicy. So yeah, I'll just cook her up. It's actually really windy now and a bit chilly, so maybe I'll cook out here. Maybe we'll eat inside or eat on the chairs. See how we go. And Ugly and I, we just, the two chef assistant, we're just making sure that everything is done according to standards. Yeah. The Chrissy Boy standards. How was your experience cooking on induction outside? It's good in the wind, eh? It is good. It's not really glamorous, but it, it is practical. It Rocket, is practical. stay here. I uh, hope the party looks it. A little bit of a boring uh, burger tonight. We don't have mustard, we don't have mayo, we don't have onion, but that's okay. We only came back from New Zealand a week ago, so we haven't done the biggest shop. We were basically, we arrived, did the job that you saw in the previous videos, and then went grocery shopping just for Fraser and came here. So yeah, we have a few items that we need to buy. <laughs> so I think it's still pretty gourmet. Pretty gourmet, not pretty bad gourmet. at all. All right, we're gonna have a little burger, watch the sunset. The little man is sleeping on me. Try to not wake him up and put some food on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. awake a bit last night so we're a bit knackered it's about what's the time it is eight o'clock exactly we're on our way so we're heading north up the west coast and we're going to see if we can pass what's the creek called Ange? Boaradi Creek we'll see if we can pass it it's low tide in 50, in 50 minutes so we'll see how we go if we can't we'll backtrack towards uh, where we just camped and head inland on a forward drive track and come back through but uh, may as well take the uh, the beach highway because it is absolutely beautiful super hard so wherever the tide comes out that sand that's left behind is always really tightly compact it's the best place for us to drive we get the most power I can stay in the highest gear whereas the soft sand where the tide really gets to is uh, is much boggier so nice compact sand so we're gonna scream along and scream along in uh, like 30 kilometers an hour and uh, yeah we'll see uh, see what happens when we get to this creek
found an amazing campsite on Awinya Creek. It is the most beautiful spot. We've just gone for a hike up the hill <laughs> to check out our exit strategy for tomorrow. <laughs> because we know that this area is a little bit tougher than probably the area we came in on. We're quite soft. Yeah, we walked it all, worked out a pretty full on track that people normally take on the way down that we thought we would commit the mog to. Now we're not so sure because we just watched a big convoy of uh, four drivers get absolutely bogged to hell at this one spot, especially one D-Max went down to both dips and they just spent an hour trying to get it out. Oh, such a shame. Yeah, so, um, Unfortunately, it's made massive holes in the track and made it really soft. So I'll reserve judgment until tomorrow. Hopefully they fill the holes in with a shovel and um, maybe decide whether we go up there or if we take the other track in the mog. But uh, yeah, it looks, it looks like a spectacular little track. So uh, yeah, looking forward to tackling that in the morning. This guy's managed to sleep for a bit over an hour yeah, this sleeping. morning, which is good. So we'll head back to the mog now, probably have lunch and uh, just chill out for the rest of the day. What do we have here? Taking Master Oakley on his first maiden voyage in his boat. <laughs> <laughs> so just, oh, it's a little bit cold, so he's a bit startled. It's okay, buddy. Getting used to it. No, you'll get used to the water. So just when we were about to get him out, two uh, dingoes rocked up right up to the camper. So we thought we'd wait inside just a little bit until they left, but they were super chill. One of them fell asleep in front of me. Really, really chill dingoes and they left off that way. So we've got a few new additions to our little outdoor setup for him. So we've got some UPS 50 clothing. We've got so the hat, the little suit that looks like super cute. Oh, sweetheart. We sound like terrible parents, but I'm sure he'll enjoy it eventually. See okay. how much fun it is? It's just a bit chilly on your bum. <laughs> we've got as well the sunnies. Okay. We've got this does provide a bit of shade, so we're trying to protect Oakley from the sun as much as we can. We've got as well like sunscreen for babies. I think we've ticked all the boxes in that respect. Yep. Now we just need to get him used to the ocean because I guess he's gonna <laughs> see a lot of it in the coming months. Oh, you're okay, sweetie. Yay. Oakley's boat. <laughs> Oakley's boat. This is awesome. <laughs> it's not so bad. Oh, you're getting beached. Oh, he's getting beached. <laughs> Off he goes on his maiden voyage. So long, sailor. Off to the sea. It's a scary big world out there. Good luck heading to Samoa. A beautiful end to an awesome day. Absolute glass off out there. The wind has completely died down in this wicked little campsite. Yeah, highly recommend you come here. It's such a beautiful spot. I absolutely love it. So we're going to cook dinner and then head to bed. And tomorrow morning, bright and early, we're going to tackle Awinya Creek. Go back to the East Coast. Head up to the East Coast through an inland forward drive track. We don't really know what to expect. Hopefully we can make it through. Otherwise, we're going to have to tick back all, all the, way, the along. way back along. So <laughs> hopefully we can get through there so that'll be on next week's video so say stay so stay tuned for that one please subscribe if you haven't already if you're enjoying the content because it helps us out supporting our little adventures and make sure that you see the videos come up in your feed each week All cheers right, for the support cheers